the study of our Bible, 13th lesson. Today, William Tyndale, interesting figure in our study of the Bible. <coughs> he was an English scholar who became a leading figure of the Protestant Reformation. I bet you many Christians don't even know what that is. Years leading up to his execution. Execution. In the root of our Bible, execution. 1524 AD, Hamburg, Germany began his work. In 1525, he translated the New Testament. He's well known as the translator of the Bible into English. Influenced by the works of Erasmus, which we studied already, of Rottendale, of Rottendale and Martin Luther. How many Christians know these names and know these histories? That's why I'm doing this study. It's sure not being taught in the, in the churches. In 1525, publication of the work by Peter Quantel, Q U E N T E L L in Colon, or Colig, C O L O G N E, Cologne, was interrupted by the impact of anti Lutheranism. A full edition of the New Testament was produced in 1526 by printer Peter Schoff. S-C-H-O-F-F-E-R in Worms. That's a city. Worms will have a particular play in Martin Luther. The Diet of Worms. A free imperial city then in the process of adapting Lutherism. More copies were soon printed in Antwerp. A-N-T-W-E-R-P. It was smuggled. Now listen to these words of, of our Bible history, the roots of the Bible. It was smuggled from continental Europe into England and Scotland. England, where the King James 1611 Bible later on will be produced. Here, Tyndale's New Testament is smuggled. The translation was condemned on October 1526 by Bishop Tunstale who issued warnings to bookstores and had copies burned in public. Well, there was a book burning in the book of Acts. But that was all the books against God, all the books of science, all the books that had nothing to do with God and Jesus Christ. Here, in 1526, this bishop has Bible, New Testament, burned. Of the first 1526 edition of Tyndale's New Testament, only three co copies survived. The only complete copy is a part of the Bible collection on Workin Bursky, Landy Spitzlertuck, Stuttgart, S T U T T G A R T. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the other two or spell it. On, it's on the path to the King James 1611 AV Bible. I'm a King James Bible-believing Christian. Do you know about the story of Tyndale? He's a well-known for his translated Bible into English. Again, he's influenced by Erasmus, Rotterdale, and Martin Luther. The Hebrew and Greek texts. First reference points to his translation. And then the Hebrew was from Erasmus. He was a skilled bilingual person and became confident over years in French, Greek, Hebrew, Germany, Italian, Latin, Spanish, and in addition to English. So this man knew languages. Tyndale's translation was the first English Bible to draw directly from Hebrew and Greek texts. The first English translation to take advantage of the printing press. The first of the new English Bibles of the Reformation. The first English translation to use Jehovah. <laughs> it's spelled J. Well, kind of weird J. It looks like an L. E-H-O-U-A-H. <laughs> I love that old-fashioned spelling. You know, you go to the old, old graveyards and the F's were messed up. The S's were messed up. The, the, as God's name as preferred by the Protestant Reformation. So Tyndale's Bible is the first one to have Jehovah. 
Tyndale's translation of the Bible was copied for subsequent English translators, including the Great Bible, and that's the name given to it because it was a great big Bible, the Bishop's Bible, and authorized by the Church of England. In 1611, the 47 scholars who produced the King James Bible drew sufficiently from Tyndale's original work and the other translators that descended from his. So we are on the road to the King James with Tyndale's work. And we are looking at, at, at men as Erasmus and Martin Luther. Uh, evidently, Tyndale was betrayed by Henry Phillips to imperial authorities. Seized in Antwerp in 1535 and held in the castle of Walder, V L L V O I O O R D E, V I V I L V O O R D E, Filford, near Brussels. Prison. He was tried on charges of heresy in 1536 and was condemned to be burned to death despite Thomas's Cromwell's intercession on his behalf. Tyndale was strangled to death while tied to the stake, and then his dead body was burned. Well, that's interesting because when we came over here, uh, I want to get it right. When we came over here, Wycliffe. John Wycliffe was dead and buried in the ground, and they assumed his body and burned and put the ashes in the in the nearby water area. Yep. This is the family, this is the roots, this is the path, this is the road of our King James Bible. And people are King James, but you don't know nothing. Of the King James. The, his final words spoken at the stake with fervent zeal and a loud voice were reported as Lord, open the King of England's eyes, end of quote. And this will give us the Bible. This will bring us these words, this prayer of a dying man, the New Testament. God will answer this prayer. The traditional date of the commemoration of 6th of October, but the records of Tinsdale imprisonment suggest that the actual date of his execution might have been some weeks earlier. Fox, John Fox, gives 6th October as the date of commemoration, left-hand date column, but gives no date of death, the right-hand date column. Within four years, four English translators of the Bibles were published in England at the king's bequest. Lord, open the king of England's eyes. Including Henry's official great Bible, all were based on Tyndale's work, and that would be the King James Bible. Assembly. Now, 1 John 5, 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. This verse is removed, added, subtracted, preverted, preversed in modern translations of Bibles. Not the family of the King James Bible. So 1 John 5, 7. In the Old Latin and many Latin manuscripts. So it's there. There are 10 Greek manuscripts that have the comma Jehonathan. It's a special big word term. But only three of them have the same form as Stephanus, S-T-E-P-H-A-N-U-S, 1550 edition. The Walt Disney's had 1 John 5, 7 in their Bible. Modern Bibles don't. Walt well, Disney's is, is in the families, in the class of the King James Family Bible. Omitted by Erasmus in his first edition. 
because he could not find it in the Greek manuscripts. <laughs> Turmoil by the scholars of his, in his era. Manuscript number 61 exists. And he put it in, he put the first John 5, 7 in the third edition. He found the proof. He said, I couldn't find it. And then he found it. Then he put it in the third edition. Modern Bibles don't even put it at all or change it. And strongly fought over it since. It's in the King James 1611 Bible. So this verse, 1 John 5, 7, that gives us the deity of Jesus Christ and gives us the deity of the Holy Spirit and gives us the form of the Trinity is rebuked by modern Bible. Peoples such as the Jehovah Witnesses are sure it was added by the Catholic Church. Again, the modern versions Bibles. Check 1 John 5, 7, and if it's been tampered with, you got a modern Bible. Modern versions will men. And listen, I, I got a King James Bible. I've seen them where when uh, um, can't think of his name now. When Stephen gives the history in the book of Acts, and when he says Jesus led them instead of Joshua, I've seen King James Bibles put Joshua instead of Jesus. I have seen King James Bible mess right in the text that offshoots against the King James Bible. So you got to be careful today. They're slick. The old school field no. It's generally agreed that verse 7 has no real authority. Well, shut up. It has been inserted. 1 John 5, 7. That's what your Schofield, I think mine says it too. Schofield King James Bible is good. The notes, some of them need to be thrown out. Oliver Green offsides himself by the notes of the old, the old Schofield. 1 John 4, 1 through 3. Be beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, where they are of God, because many false prophets are going out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh is of God. That's not Jehovah Witness. Every spirit that confesses not Je uh, Jehovah Witnesses that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that shall could. It should come. And even now already is in the world. First John 2, 2 27. But the anointing which he had received of him abideth in you. And ye need not that any man teach you. For it is the same anointing teaching of all things. And is true. And no lie. Even as it has taught you. Ye shall abide in him. Now there are heresies. Yeah, they are. Jesus is a God, small g, but not the God. Heresy, lie. Jesus could not be God, capital G, if he was a man. 1 John 5, 8. There are three that bear witness in earth. The spirit, the water, and the blood. These three agree with one. That's why 1 John 5, 7 is thrown out. Because Jesus is not God. Removing the deity. And then the Antichrist per 1 John. 1 John 1.1 1, 1, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and with our hands we be handled the words of life. 1 John 1.2 1, For the life was made manifest, and we seen it, and bear records, and show unto you the eternal life, which was in the Father. And was manifested in you. Modern Bibles omit. Modern Bibles pervert. But on the path to the King James Bible. It's there. Like I said. Erasmus in his first edition. I don't see it. He found it. He put it in there. And he fought for it. Keep on fighting. 